Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and I'm going to show you guys how to easily and quickly create a dynamic drawing list just like this one here. It's just a few steps and anyone can do it. It's going to help speed up your drawing process as well as help you keep all your drawings accurate and up to date. Let's jump right into today's video and get started. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, today we're gonna to look at how to create a dynamic drawing list to place on, say, your cover sheet or a front page of your drawing set. These are super helpful because they can be dynamically linked to, say, your layout tabs or your sheet set list, uh, which is how we're going to create this. So whether you've used sheet sets before or you're completely new to them, this process is still going to be easy to follow. And if you'd like to learn more about how sheet sets work and how to use them better to automate a lot of the text and sheet design in your packages, you can check out my course AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows in a Hurry, where we have an entire section on sheet sets. But for today's video, you don't need that. We're simply going to start with the sheet set manager. To bring that up, you can type in SSM and hit enter. Now we're gonna create a new sheet set and we're going to use existing drawings here. Now, if you've created your own sheet sets or you have a template one, you could use an example one. But for our example, we're only using the sheet set to be able to say plot our drawings in a group or link the drawing list or sheet list to a drawing table. So in our example, we're gonna use existing drawings and hit next. Now you're gonna create a name for your sheet set. This can be the name of your project typically if you have a project number or in our example, we're calling this 123 example road and that'll work for now. You're gonna to want to save this in a particular folder, typically the same folder as your drawings or the project folder one above, say your drawing folder. For sheet set properties, if you are going to use the sheet sets to say add dynamic field text to your drawings and control things like phases, project names, drawing titles and numbers, you could get into this. Again, my course goes into that in more detail, but for today, we're just gonna hit next. And here you can choose the drawings that you wanna bring in, but for our example, we're gonna hit next and then finish. This is gonna show you the settings so far, but all we've really done is fill out the sheet set name. This is just a quick way you can use sheet sets to create a drawing list that is linked to specific drawings. Hitting finish creates our sheet set and it's now in our sheet set manager. You're gonna get a .dst file saved in that folder and that's how you can open this in the future to make any changes. Now from here, all we need to do is right click on our top category here, that's the name of our sheet set, and import layouts as sheets. Now you can see down here, I've got my layouts in this drawing. We've got a cover sheet, first floor, second floor, third floor and I'll actually just switch over to this drawing here. And in this one, we've got different tabs as well, sections, details, and notes. So we're gonna bring all of these in to one sheet set, even though they're in different AutoCAD drawings and there are multiple layouts in each, we can import those layouts as sheets in our sheet set. Browsing for the drawings, we're simply going to select the two drawings, that's the two I have open, and click open. Now it's gonna give you a list of all of the layouts in those drawings. You can check or uncheck any that you'd like to include in your drawing list, or in our case, the sheet set. Unchecking them will ignore it or leave it out. In our case, we wanna bring in all of these sheets. And don't worry about the order, we can organize that later on in our sheet set. You also probably don't want to prefix the sheet titles with the file name. That's basically going to add the full file name before the title of each drawing. Typically, you're not gonna to wanna to use that, but you can hit that if you'd like. Importing the checked is going to bring all of our sheets or layouts into our sheet set. Now, we're actually almost done. All we need to do now is give each of these a number. And in our case, the easiest way to do that is to select one and right click, choosing rename and renumber. But before we do that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure these are in the correct order that you'd like them to show up in your drawing list. I'm gonna drag cover, so just clicking on it and dragging it allows you to move it up or down. 
You can do that with multiple by holding control or shift to select multiple drawings and you can drag those up or down, placing them wherever you'd like. In our case, we wanna go cover, first floor, second floor, third floor, sections, details, and notes. Now, again, you can rearrange these at any time and this is going to be linked to your drawing list so it makes it easy to change them. Same as changing the titles and numbers can be done through sheet sets. So this sheet set manager here, right clicking on any and choosing rename and renumber is going to bring up the rename and number dialog box. We're going to give these numbers, so we're just going to go 00 and hit enter. I'm going to go 01, 02, 03, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you can see we have 7 sheets plus the cover and they're all numbered with the title next to it. Now you can right click and rename and number any of these at any time if you'd like to change them later and this is going to again be linked to our drawing list. I'm going to leave that for now and hit OK. Next all we need to do is select this top uh, item here. This is your sheet set. You're going to right click on it and choose insert sheet list table. This is going to bring up the table dialog box which you're probably familiar with if you used AutoCAD for much time. Now, before we finish this one up, if you'd like to learn more about sheet sets and how they can be dynamically helpful in your drawings, either by updating sheet names, titles, numbers, revisions, all of that dynamically and instantly in all of your drawings, sheet sets are a huge part of time saving and productivity in AutoCAD, as well as a ton of other workflows and ideas that I've learned over 16 years of using AutoCAD and Civil 3D daily. Make sure you check out my course, AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows. The link is up above and down below, and it's discounted right now by using that link. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it, and it's packed full of a ton of different workflows, including setting up and using sheet sets, creating your own templates, inserting and using XRefs, as well as exporting and packaging drawing files to send to clients, and a ton more. Again, check it out at the link up above and down below right now. All right, so back to our drawing list table. You'll probably be familiar with this dialog box. It's simply the table dialog box. Uh, you can see by default it's going to put our headings as sheet number and sheet title and the title text as sheet list table. You can change this to drawing list or sheet list, whatever you'd like. You can edit these things. You can also change up the style, so the size, the text, uh, font, all of that in here by creating a new style or editing or using one of the original ones. We're just going to keep it as the standard one. It's going to come in to our drawing like this and from here you can edit the style or you can do it beforehand but now you can see we have a dynamic drawing list that is linked to our sheet set so say we want to change the name of any of these you can go to that rename and renumber you could change this to 004 and sections test just to show that this is dynamic you can see it changes over here so now that we've changed it up in our sheet set over here, simply selecting your drawing list, right clicking and updating the links is going to update the text within it. This will also typically update when you first open the drawing. So if you've made these changes and you're just replotting or opening up the drawing, all of this text is going to dynamically update and link back to your sheet set. Again, this is a super quick and easy way to create a drawing list that is linked to multiple drawings. You can add as many different DWG files and sheets as you don't like. Um, and all you need to do is open up this sheet set to reinsert it or add it. Once it's in your drawing, it's linked to it. And all these things are going to update for you automatically. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit like. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.